<laughs> All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, today we are going to hook a webcam up to a radio and send images over RF via email even. Uh, let's make a radio cam, this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Free bumper music, love it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here's the scenario. You've got a cabin somewhere that's completely off grid and you've got a camera and maybe you've got a radio and some solar panel and hopefully a Raspberry Pi if you're doing digital modes. And you wanna see what the cabin looks like. You wanna send an image every now and then to uh, over RF to an email box that you can check from anywhere in the world. Maybe there's a bear tearing your car apart piece by piece. Maybe you just wanna see the weather, the snow level. Maybe you wanna see how high the surf is. Well, we can do this with a web camera a Raspberry Pi, and a radio. And we're going to send these images over radio frequencies, um, which basically, if you have a ham radio, goes all the way to the horizon. And then we're going to contact a Winlink server somewhere, hopefully in your area, and send these images uh, over RF to email. So I know what you're thinking. Craig, this is going to be really complicated. A bunch of commands I don't understand in Linux stuff. Well, I can do this in three commands. In fact, if we put those three commands in a script, we can make it one command, and I'll put those together for you and put it down there in the notes. So what you need is a Raspberry Pi, some webcam. This is just really cheap. Um, and a radio, an amateur radio. This is an ICOM 705, Raspberry Pi 5. It could just as easily be a Baofeng and a Raspberry Pi Zero. I don't, I don't have one laying around here, but you know, a Pi Zero is as, as low as $18, right? So this can be a really cheap solution. And of course, you need a 12 volt power source. And also the DigiPi. SD card image, which you can get at digipi.org. This goes to patrons of the channel. This is kind of like your lab assignment. So if you want to do cool digital modes, digipi.org is, <laughs> is the place to go. That SD card, once downloaded, you put it in digipi, boot it up, initialize it, and make it yours with your call sign and whatnot. Now we're going to start AX.25 networking, which is the network protocol we use to talk to other WinLink servers. And this is going to be over VHF. I happen to set the radio to 145050, and I know there are other WinLink servers out there on that frequency. Some are pretty close. And uh, to start AX.25 networking on the Raspberry Pi, it's really simple. You just press on next to AX.25 node. You can see DigiPi just went into node mode, and we are on the network. So one point of interest to get the audio cards enumerated properly, you want to plug the webcam in after DigiPi boots if possible. So I'm just going to go like this. All right, now this webcam is connected to DigiPi via USB. That way the network doesn't try and talk to the camera <laughs> thinking it's your rig. Next thing we do is click on shell here. This is where we're gonna issue those three commands. We've got them kind of bundled into a, a few, into a single shell script to make it easy here. Um, the password is usually raspberry. Let's see if I get that right. I'll type it right this time. Raspberry, there we go. Then I want you to make their pat. Okay, I've already got one there. And then CD Pat. And this is going to be like our, our, our folder that we got stuff in. Uh, Radiocam.sh is what I'm going to put in the notes. You can download that. Um, I don't know the exact URL for it just yet, but you can cut and paste the commands. I'll put it in the notes here. Uh, let's just take a look at Radiocam. I'm going to use VI. You can use Nano, whatever is easier. There's four variables up here you can set. The, the to call, and that can be an email address or a call sign. Uh, the server you're going to connect to, in this case, it's a WinLink server called KM6LYW-10. I know he's on 145050. I've already set the frequency there, but uh, this will do that as well. And the title that I'm going to put on the image is just digipi.org. You can put whatever you want. Uh, maybe it's uh, set it up so it's the temperature or something. Um, you need some sort of telemetry data in the image to be fully compliant with your uh, communications jurisdiction um, regulations, because uh, telemetry is okay to broadcast on amateur radio, at least here if you live under the FCC's domain. There's three commands here. These are them. The first one is FS Webcam. This is the thing that's going to grab the image. Um, you'll want to grab, get, install that software by running apt install FS Webcam from the command line. And then once that's installed, you, we can run this script. So it's going to run FS Webcam. It's going to save the JPEG image from this little web camera into webcam.jpg. The next command is going to actually run pat. Now, Pat is like an email client, but it has a cool non-interactive command line mode where we can send a single email with one command. So we're going to run Pat Compose, and it's going to go to our to call. We're going to attach 
the webcam.jpg. We're going to give it a subject. And then the third and final command was we're going to tell Pat to connect to our server um, on a particular frequency. So those are the three commands. So go ahead and edit the top of this file, those four things, to whatever you like. And I'm not even going to save it. don't need to. And then we are going to, actually, you might want to start the rig control service if you're running a fancy radio like this. So you can do uh, sudo. Um, if I haven't said it already, you want to do sudo remount um, to make the file system read right. Do that at the beginning here. I, I think I missed that part. Uh, DigiPy is read only, right? That's kind of like a firmware, at least initially. Um, also, just to make sure rig control is working, you can run sudo system ctl start rig ctld that way pat can actually talk to your rig change frequencies and do cool stuff if you're using just a baofeng none of that's going to work anyway so um, let's just do uh, radio cam.sh now this is going to be silly i'm actually going to make a funny face here into the webcam while i hit return okay this, this is ridiculous hey all right ah there it is okay <laughs> <laughs> so it captured the frame here. You can see what's going on and save the quality uh, to like JPEG is like 30. Um, you'll notice on the command line there that the actual resolution is 320 by 200. And that makes about a, a file that's about seven kilobytes. I know you're thinking, Craig, that's ridiculously small and low resolution. But as you can see, the radio is going nuts here. It is transmitting seven kilobytes and it can often take as long as, I don't know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. Um, and this is a, with a good connection uh, to a, a radio not far from here. Of course, on the DigiPi display, we can see KM6LYW-10 is talking to us and blinking. And we're sending these big packets to it, and it's connecting to the WinLink email servers on the internet and relaying our email with this image attached <laughs> to the email address I specified in that file. I'm being long-winded here because I'm waiting for this to complete. So, you know, I should set the clock and, like, pause you guys. But you can hear it going. It's cool. I know you can hear that because I can see it on the view here. So the long packet is me transmitting a packet, and then the short packet is an acknowledgement. Remember, we're using AX.25 networking here, so if a packet gets screwed up in transit, transmit, there will be an ask to resend it. Um, so there's a little, uh, not really error correction, though we could add that, uh, but actual uh, retries. So this is a connected protocol. It's not just send and pray. So I don't, I don't know if this is done yet. It's got it's to be close. What we need is like a... Uh, I know Pat does this on the, uh, the web interface. Pat will actually show a percentage of completion here. So it's still going... All right, it's settling down. I think we're close. So now what we want to do is check our email. WinLink is going to send it to this address, which I haven't fully disclosed. Actually, it's my address on QRZ. I guess I've already given that out. Um, it takes a minute or two for it to show up. I can do get messages, and maybe it'll pop up here. You can see I've already sent a couple of them already just to test this out. So get messages, and we're going to wait for this to show up. All right, we received one new message. It says a webcam attached. Here's the body of the message. This is just an email client I'm using to attach to the internet, right? And this is the email we just sent over RF. And I'm reading it on the internet. I'm going to click on webcam.jpg attachment. And uh, this is ridiculous. This is so embarrassing. I'm doing this for you guys. I, ho I hope you guys appreciate this level of embarrassment uh, for to advance the art of amateur radio. And of course, we can see the time there. We've got our little text string, digipi.org. And this picture doesn't have to be me making a stupid face. This could be anything. You know, it could be a cabin in the woods. It could be the weather. In fact, I use I typically use this camera to take a picture of the sky to see what the weather's like, or maybe if there's any snow on the ground. So we did it. And you know, we didn't talk about automating this, so you can use actually use cron, um, that's the scheduler, cron tab minus E as the Raspberry Pi user. And down at the bottom here, we can have this maybe run once a week. So at the zero minute at, I don't know, 10 a.m. Um, every day, every day of the month, um, uh, every one day of the week, so I guess that would be Monday, um, you can issue a command that would be um, home pi pat radio cam.sh and that command will run at that frequency let me i don't know if I, I can never get this right there's an example in this file so it's minute hour day of month uh, month and then day of week uh, so the first day of every week so i guess this will go on monday at 10 a.m anyways that's the scheduler that's so it'll totally be automated and uh, update and and send you an email on monday at 10 a.m and we did it. That's totally cool, guys. Thanks for hanging out here and doing with this with me. Um, speaking of cool people, 
we've got the patrons of the channel. You guys are killing it. Uh, Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. Thank you, guys. Uh, patrons here are in, are in a special group that they get access to the digipi.org SD card image. So if you want to do everything we dish, just did today on your digipi, um, go out to digipi.org and snag this. I'm going to make the zoom a little more feasible here. And it's just an SD card. Um, you put it in your Raspberry Pi, turn it on. There's an initialization process. In fact, this one's already been initialized, obviously. Uh, but you enter your call sign, your grid square, you know, win link password, all that stuff. And you, there's no command line. Everything's done with a web browser, just like you kind of saw here today. Even, the, even if you want to open a command prompt, you can do it in a... In a uh, in your web browser, and it could be on any Wi-Fi device. You know, you could be in your easy chair doing stuff and doing you know Digipie. Here's Digipie actually displaying the Digipie screen on my tablet. Um, so it does a lot more than WinLink, also. So it does every data mode really that we're interested in here. They're all listed here. Um, all the APRS modes, packet modes. We just did AX.25 and WinLink, but it'll also do like JSA call and WSJTX. Here it's an FT8 mode only. It runs FT8 runs on your Raspberry Pi and displays in your browser. Lots of cool radio interface devices that we've got out there. We've got APRS web chat, because um, you know, you're typing messages on your radio, 10 keys almost impossible. So we've got a web-based APRS web chat. We've got a bulletin board on there. It works on all kinds of different pies and radios. We've got email, which we technically just demonstrated, but there's a web interface for email if you don't want to use that command line. And I fully understand. Uh, JS8 call, FL Digi, um, this is where we're doing some CW on our tablet, and it's a lot of fun. We've got slow scan television. I've been doing a lot of that lately. And of course, here's the bulletin board with some video games on there. We've even got Zork and whatnot for the, on the bulletin board if you want to do that. But anyways, today we just sent an image from our webcam through our Raspberry Pi, through the radio, and read it in our email box. Uh, we did it all over RF, except for that last little leg was uh, actually the internet. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I just kind of happened on this uh, this morning thinking, hey, I want to be able to take a picture of a house that I'm, I'm never at and it has no internet. And this fit the bill. My name is Craig, amateur radio call sign KM6LYW. I'm in California and I'm clear. 